I'm Madeline Burke alongside Sean O'Hara. The Giants fell to the Jets 34-27. Let's take a look at how it happened. We'll start in the second quarter. Darius Slayton had two touchdowns. The first one, Daniel Jones to the rookie for a quick dart right there, Sean. Yeah, nice protection right there. Just a three-man rush. I like that the Giants win. No huddle right there. Up tempo. Got the snap early. And Daniel Jones, nice job finding his rookie wide receiver. Absolutely. And on the next offensive possession, that chemistry, that rookie ball continuing as Daniel Jones Jones takes the snap from Spencer Pulley, chucks it out to Darius Slayton again, who runs it in for the score. You can see the speed right here by Darius Slayton. How about the call? Fourth and four. They go for it. Get a nice big chunk right there. You saw the nice route break off. The corner actually stumbled right there. Uh, nice throw and catch by Daniel Jones. Absolutely. A little bit better of a call than move the chains right there with the score. Golden Tate in the third quarter had his first of two touchdowns on the day. This one, nice little dink and dunk pass as he runs it in 61 yards, showing us why he is the Yak King. Yeah, there's that yards after catch on third and nine. The perfect call. And for Golden Tate, he's kind of become Daniel Jones' go-to guy on third down. That's exactly what you need to get yourself back into this game. Absolutely. And later in the third, Golden Tate once again with a 15-yard touchdown reception, as we're seeing right here. Another third down. Here's Daniel Jones looking for his guy, Golden Tate. A nice job in the slot right there against Brian Poole. And Golden Tate, he's been there before, but look at him right there. He knows I'm dangerous in the slot. You give that guy a lot of space. He can make anybody miss. Absolutely. His first two touchdown game for the Giants. That one followed, of course, by the Benny Fowler two-point conversion. Now, later in the third, Jamal Adams breaks through, gets to Daniel Jones, and robs him of the football. Just takes it out of his hand. The thief brings it all the way to the house, runs it in for a defensive score for the Jets. Remarkable play by Jamal Adams. It should have never happened third and one. I don't know why they're not running the ball there, but Saquon Barkley did not block his guy and Daniel Jones victimized again. That aggressive Greg Williams defense as Jamal Adams was definitely applying pressure all game. Now later in the game in the fourth quarter, DeAndre Baker, the young rookie defensive back, gets called for this key pass interference play, setting the Jets up in scoring position, Sean. Yeah, Robbie Anderson just had one catch on the game, but this was a huge play right here. DeAndre Baker never looked back for the football. There was some contact. Face guarding is a flag every single time. And Sam Darnold just taking that deep shot here. You can see from another angle right here, Sam Darnold likes the matchup. I mean, this ball right here, Robbie Anderson actually has a step on him. The ball's underthrown, and that's what created the penalty right there by DeAndre Baker. Absolutely. The rookie mistake. Got to turn your head around. That sets up Le'Veon Bell at the one-yard line. Runs it in for a one-yard touchdown here, and the Jets get the score. Le'Veon Bell doing a great job right there. It was really him and Jabril Peppers one-on-one. -on -one. Jabril Peppers could not man him up and, and make this stop right there. And the Jets come away with a 34-27 win. The Jets improving to 2-8 on the season as the Giants fall to 2-8 on theirs heading into the bye. Hey, Giants fans. Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.